The taxidermy element of what I do, I think, is another element that I'm playing with, which is nostalgia. The animals in my work came about just because they're a really highly accessible image. Um, so when people see them, you know, they're immediately recognisable. That's really why I've used them, rather than trying to develop some kind of new form of taxidermy. The way I make the pieces is um, I start with a quite a rigid form, it's a um, polyurethane form, um, and then I freestyle the skin, um, just using one really basic stitch, just use it in different directions, so it's not really um, a traditional use of crochet. I choose to work with mohair mixes because I'm also playing with realism and I think that gives them quite a sort of a realistic feel and trying to keep away from the cuddly toy um, side of things. For the Olympic project, Lionheart, that was a bit different. It was important that I used a locally sourced wool, so that's quite a bit different from the mohair. The Lionheart project is part of Artists Taking the Lead. There were 12 um, public commissions throughout the UK. My piece is a piece made for the East Midlands, so it reflects you know, certain aspects of, of where you live or where you've chosen to make your piece of work. And I've created three 25-foot lions. So I've taken the lions from Richard the Lionheart's Crest, who's got quite a lot of associations with the region and the country and to some extent the Olympic Games. But the main focus of that piece is our textile heritage, so it's all about the wool really. I started work on the project in spring 2009. It took me just over 18 months to actually crochet the lines, but obviously the project's a lot bigger than just the crochet element. But in the making process I used uh, all of 150 sheep, which was 36 miles of wool, so yeah, a great deal of wool. I really wanted to create something that would make people wow um, when they saw it on the street and yeah I just wanted the biggest thing I could possibly get down the road so I've made the case as, as big as it can be without it needing a police escort and then just filled it full of the lines so they are as big as they can be within that given space. I think the thing that I'm looking forward to the most and one of the real sort of driving forces behind making the piece is to surprise people when it's on the road so I'd really like for people to just accidentally see it, just be really glad that they've seen it, you know, and it be a memory that people will have forever, that would be my ultimate goal. <laughs>